this particular painting again is uh, just com completely contrived, you know, the imagined. And so uh, when you do that, uh, it's hard to come up with the shadings and the light and the, everything in, that I like to see from a photograph. And so uh, I was just trying to see what I could do with that. And uh, it's, it's not one of my favorites, but you know, maybe some people would like it. Uh, and again, I can tell by the work on it that it's, it's, I was still learning a lot about uh, watercolors and things like that. So, so I guess that's an apple tree? Yeah, apple tree with up in the mountains where they grow a lot of apples in Virginia. It reminded me of the apple tree at your grandfather's house mm -hmm. that was always dying. <laughs> eventually yeah. died. But but these mountains were more like up in the uh, Blue Ridge or the S Smokies or someplace like that. And a little practice trying to make one of those uh, baskets that hold them and everything. But, they don't see those baskets much anymore. Now I think they use them pretty much in uh, where they ra raise the apples and things, but they have gone to a lot of cardboard type things now. So does that be considered an apple basket? Yeah. That's not a bushel basket, is it? Is that what you call it? It's, it's a little bigger than a bushel. It's a, I don't know what it would be, but it probably equal to three or four bushels. That's all, if you consider the trunk of the tree behind it, I mean, it looks like a pretty big, but then you have yeah. to look at the, the apples. Yeah. And so you, you know the apples aren't that big, so yeah. the tree's kind of backward, back a little more than you, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's actually, the tree is bigger than it appears. Yeah, yeah. Because it's farther back. Yeah, the old perspective. But not too much farther back. I think that's what I was trying to do, is do a perspective type painting where let the mountains fade in the distance and just uh, show apples up close and practicing, trying to learn. But it makes a picture that's easy on your eyes, you can look at it. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, when I look at it, I find myself looking into the mountains, like, to see what's back there. Mm -hmm. After I've looked at the apples a bit. There's a lot of artists I know that don't paint. I call, I try to paint realistic things. I, I want it to look like it looks like. Where many painters paint things and you have to figure out what that is. What is it? and uh, come away with it. It, it is whatever you see in it. <laughs> and I'm not that kind of painter. That's all.